Kommer igen. Åh, uh. oh, man. That, uh... That actually... Actually wasn't that heavy. Alright, fish nerds, so if you've been watching my channel for very long at all, you guys know that I love plecos. I, I like bristle nose and I've bred thousands of the super red bristle nose and all your fancy plecos. I just love them. I think they're super cool. And uh, I've I've had different favorites and all that, but I I love plecos. And a company reached out to me just recently. I guess they seen, you know, one of my bristlenose breeding videos or something. They reached out to me, sent me an email, said, hey, we make Pleco Caves. Can we send you a bunch of them and maybe you do an unboxing and a review, that kind of a thing? And I'm like, sure, absolutely. If you want to send me a bunch of free Pleco Caves all day long, I'm up for it. Let's, you know, bring it on. And uh, so the company's name is Pleco Ceramics. I've seen them on Instagram before. Uh, I've never bought any of their stuff and uh, or anything like that. But I, I I had heard of them and like seen a post or two on Instagram, that kind of a thing. But they reached out to me and wanted to send me a bunch of their products. And so they sent me this big old box. So I have not opened any of these. I haven't looked at them. I kind of have an idea of what to expect just from having seen their stuff on Instagram, but I didn't like go to their Amazon store and shop them out or anything like that. But they did send me these for free uh, from Pleco Ceramics. I'll put a link to their Instagram and Amazon store in the description below. But they're not paying me anything and I'm not under any obligation whatsoever to say anything positive or negative. This is just an honest review and unboxing. Uh, I would never accept any kind of deal that put an obligation on me to say something that I didn't believe. Uh, so with that said, I mean, they sent them to me and just said, Hey, if you want to do an unboxing and even do a review or whatever you want to do, it's up to me. Uh, so they sent these to me and so I'm going to unbox these and I'm going to show them to you guys and let you know what I think and uh, you guys can let me know in the comments below what you think. All right. So I'm going to pick up the smallest box first. So this is what the box looks like and that is Pleco Ceramics. All right. Let's see what we got here. Looks like a standard little bristle nose cave. Nice. It's basically a standard size for what you would want for breeding bristle nose. Let's see if I can get it to focus on the cave instead of my face in the background. Come on. But they put some texture on it, so it's got a little bit more of a natural look. It's not just like a plain Jane ceramic. Nice little cave. All right. And here looks like the same thing, except maybe a hair bigger. Let me see. Yes, yeah, so this is same concept, just a hair bigger. So one size up, a slightly bigger opening there. Pretty cool. Ooh, this is a this is a big box for a pleco cave. Let's see what this looks like here. What have we got? Oh, okay, cool, cool. This is uh, if I can get the plastic off of it, so I can show you guys. This is like a fallen stump. I mean, it, it's, it's ceramic, but that's, that's pretty natural looking. Looks like a, just like a piece of a log. Pretty cool. I like the look of that. Very neat. All right. This one says it's a scape log. What we got here. Okay, now this is cool. So, standard concept of just a ceramic tube, the little viewing window there, but it actually looks like 
a log. It doesn't just look like something that you made in arts and crafts store, which is pretty cool. Very neat. So if you're wanting to uh, have a Pleco cave, but you're also wanting to have a nice aquascape and don't want just like a random man-made looking piece of Pleco cave in your tank, that'd be pretty sweet. This one says it's called a snag. So let's see what that's about. Ooh. This looks promising. These things are very well wrapped. I will say that for sure. And this is cool. It's kind of a little three-way cave on that end. One larger opening there. A couple little viewing windows. Because the thing with Plecos, we all know this, especially those of us that have several, they like to hide. And you'll pay, if you want a fancy Pleco, you'll pay 50, 60, 70, sometimes 100 bucks for a fancy Pleco. And then never actually get to see it because they hide so a cave like this where they feel secure they can hide out but you can still see in there and get a at least kind of a glimpse of them pretty cool and this guy is pretty sweet just looks like a fallen branch log whatever and i mean the color on this is nice they actually have some nice detail it's not just textured clay they've actually got the color on there to make it look like some moss and stuff very neat. Very cool. I like that. Let's see what else we got here. Pleco Cave. Gotcha. So I'm thinking the ones that are actually labeled Pleco Cave are all going to be the same story. This is a much bigger version of the first one that I opened up. Here's the, the first one. Here's the one I just opened. And here's the second one, the medium, I guess this is like a small, medium, large situation. But all the same style, just different sizes. Pretty cool. Again, it's got that same textured look. Not as natural as like the snag that we just opened up. But I mean, it still, it's got something to it other than just being plain Jane. Cichlid stone is what this one's labeled. working with here kind of standard standard little cichlid stone it's a nice dark color though I like that this camera keeps trying to uh, focus on what little bit of my face is in the background instead of on the stone but yeah pretty cool and aquarium cave brown let's see here oh, got more plastic right okay so this is the same as this one but red let me get the plastic off of that so that's a cool cool color right there so this is the one we opened up earlier so this one just looks kind of like an older, like this one sat out in the sun longer than this one. Unfortunately, we do have a little chip right there. It's not too bad though. It's down in a corner that would probably end up under the substrate, so I'm not, I'm not too worried about that. That's cool. Got kind of a green color here and then the reddish brown over here. Not sure which one I like better. You guys can tell me in the comments below which one you prefer. All right, cichlid stone. So I'm just, I'm gonna predict that this is a bigger version of the cichlid stone we opened a minute ago. And it looks like I'm going to be correct. 
Yep. Exact same as a little two door design, just bigger version. Uh, the same guy we opened earlier. Pretty cool. All right, and this is the last box, and it's the biggest box. It says Tree Trunk Cave. So let's see what we've got going on in here. So much bubble wrap. Ooh. Guys, this is cool. Look at that. That is sweet looking. Again, I'm not just talking about this being cool because they sent these to me. This this is legitimately cool. For a Pleco cave, which is, I mean, let's face it, that's what we're all, anybody who has this, that's what we're gonna use it for is a Pleco cave. This is cool looking. And not to throw stones at your, just, your, your plain Jane ceramic Pleco caves that you see at every store and every you know trade show and all that. I like those. I have several of them, you know, and for a breeding situation, I actually kind of prefer those for a breeding situation uh, because I like closed Pleco caves for breeding and my dog is in the backyard barking at something. So I apologize for the background noise. But uh, if you're wanting to have like a nicely scaped, just like community tank, show tank, but you also want Plecos, a lot of times you don't want just like something that looks I don't know, man-made in it for your plecos. So this would be really cool. And this is big enough for a good size pleco. Hello. I mean, that's a good two, two and a half inches across on that opening. So this is very nice. And I like it. This, this is, this might be my favorite one in the whole box, just because of all this cool wood texture on it. This is a very neat, very neat Pleco cave. Similar concept to this one, but I like the uh, I like the wood look on this one more than on this one. I mean, this one still looks more natural than what you typically see. I don't know. I think I just like all the texture on this one, but both pretty good both pretty cool all right guys let me know in the comments below what you think about these pleco caves from pleco ceramics again i'll have links to their stuff in the description below if you want to go check them out appreciate them sending me these caves for your cost and again this is just an unboxing and just my honest thoughts about these caves and i like them i think they're cool looking uh i would like to see i don't know and they may have different sizes in these two but I think uh, some smaller versions of these for uh, some, some of the dwarf plecos and like a smaller scape would be really cool to have. Maybe even for like an apisto tank or something. Like apisto size little wood caves like this I think would be cool. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe that's a stupid idea. I don't know. But I like the concept of these and I am excited to have them and looking forward to working with them. In the future, as you know, I have several tanks that need to get scaped out. So uh, these will be going in those. So thank you, Pleco Ceramics. Thank you guys for watching. You guys are awesome. God bless you, fish nerds. And I'll see you. All right, guys, sorry to interrupt the outro right there, but after I got done filming this, I reached out to Pleco Ceramics, let them know that I was gonna be posting the video, and they actually sent me an Amazon link where you guys can get 15% off. I think it's just today only, so you're gonna to wanna to jump on that if you wanna take advantage of it. Uh, but they did say it would be active today as of the release of this video. I don't know if it goes on longer than that or not. So if you wanna get 15% off on these, that link will be in the description below. All right, thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you next time.